Hello YouTubers, I'm Parways and this is our 33rd video in QD5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video, we have learned how you can insert uh, data from your QT5 forms into MySQL database. And let me show you, for example, you want to add another username, add, add a password, add an email address, uh, for example, like this, and add a number, phone number, and if, I, if you click on register, you can see data inserted successfully and if I check my database you can see I have another uh, user at name of Tom so in this video I want to show you how you can uh, do a user login so how you can check your these inputs uh, against the MySQL database so now let's get started and I'm going to right click on this and uh, go to slot and clicked okay like this now I have my own login uh, clicked okay uh, I have created my connection in here uh, if you don't know about this you can watch my previous videos I have created my uh, I've added my database driver and also let me just add a name in here uh, so I call it my connect I have added a name to my MySQL database, uh, to my uh, database connection, and this is my local host. I have a username of root, password. I don't have any password, and my database name is Qt5 register. So after this, uh, after creating uh, your, let me just create a QSQL uh, database, call it DB, and let me just change this to DB. Mm, db 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 okay now after this i'm going to check if my database is open if uh, db dot uh, open if this is open uh, if my database is open uh, i'm going to uh, create my query and uh, let me just comment this comment in here creating my queries okay uh, if this is not open uh, else I'm going to give a queue message box a queue message box information uh, this database field database connection field connection failed okay like this now let me just check this and uh, I think uh, now I'm waiting for this and this is my application right now login is not working and uh, let me just uh, add a message in here so let me just copy this and uh, paste it in my in here so database success database connection success and let me run it again Okay, now if I click on login, you can see database connection success. Now I have a database uh, connection. Uh, after this, uh, let me just in here. Okay, and here I'm going to create a query. So, QSQL query. And I call it a query, like this and in here I want to add my uh, connection name database and it is my connect okay uh, now I'm going to uh, bind uh, create a, 
uh, my query dot prepare so q string and select all from users my uh, table name is users uh, where username where username is uh, my username okay like this and uh, my password is password uh, before this uh, we need to retrieve our data and if you check my uh, main window.ui uh, I have um, names for this this is username login and this is password login so first I need to retrieve these data from the user uh, open your main window.cpp and uh, in here so let me uh, okay B for in this section I'm going to create Q string username and UI login uh, what username login false yeah username login text and for the password Q string password UI uh, password login text okay uh, now I have these uh, inputs we need now after uh, writing our query uh, we need to bind our this uh, uh, username and password with uh, the username and, and password uh, that we have got from the uh, input fields so let me just in here in this section and after this after your query we need to bind this so query dot bind value we need to bind our our username with the username and query dot bind value our password with our password okay like this uh, now we are going to execute our query if not query dot execute if it fails to execute we need to give a queue message box queue message box and uh, information this failed mm, query failed to execute to execute okay else else in here uh, now we are going to uh, we are going to uh, let me just first try it after that I will describe so I'm going to create a while in here a while loop while query dot next first we need to uh, get our uh, username and password from our database get username from db so query dot value and uh, one dot to string convert this to the string also we need to for password uh, password from db query dot value 
two dot two string okay after this we need to check our uh, these uh, values against our uh, input fields so if username from db is username and uh, password from db is password okay if this is the case we are going to give a successful message box so q message box information this success and login success okay else uh, we are going to give a q message box information this failed login failed okay and uh, let me just check this that uh, it's working or not uh, let me run it okay now this is my application and let me check my database uh, let me copy this name and the password is ASDF paste it and please enter username and the password is ASDF if I click on login database connection success and if I click login success so uh, let me just remove this uh, database connection success yeah let me comment this and now let me run it again so now let me add give me my username and password if I login login success okay and now what I want uh, when the user uh, enter correct username and login I want that they should be redirect to another window so for this I'm going to add another window in here so add new I need a Qt designer form uh, let me just check it uh, Okay, we are going to create a Qt designer form class. Click on choose, and you can see we have dialog with buttons, uh, dialog with button right. Uh, I want just uh, dialog. Uh, I don't want any button. Yeah, dialog without button. Uh, click on next and change. You can give a name. I call it my dialog. Click on next and finish. Okay, now you can see we have another dialog let me add a label in here welcome to second dialog and also change the uh, text to the bold Okay, now we have our second dialog. After this open, if you check this, you can see we have another header file and another .cpp file. After this, in the main window.h, we need to add our this uh, dialog. So I want to add my dialog.h in here. And after this, open your main window.cpp. After the user uh, enters correct username and password. Uh, also we need to redirect them to this window so I want to create a my dialog I call it uh, 
dialog okay and dialog dot set model to true and dialog dot execute so let me just check this that uh, if I get any error uh, I will uh, check the code so let me run my application okay now we have an error if you got this error and resolve external symbol uh, public uh, this is because when you're adding a new class or a new file in Qt5 you need to run QMake before running your application so let me run uh, QMake Okay, now QMIT, QMIT is completed. After this, I'm going to run my application. Okay, now this is my application. If I give uh, my name and if I give VSDF, my password, login success. Now you can see we have the second dialog. Thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel.